That man hitting you? It's from the fight. Oh. I'm a fighter, Mama. Her role as a prize fighter in Million Dollar Baby earned Hilary Swank her second Oscar. Now the versatile actor is playing a hairdresser helping a family battle impossible odds. And for Hilary Swank, this time it's personal. Tracy Smith has our Sunday profile. In the most scenic corner of the Pacific Northwest, Hilary Swank is in her element. Do you have lots of memories walking around here? Yes. So this lake right here is uh, what I considered my best friend because I spent every single sunny day in that lake. These days, the two-time Oscar winner is staying on familiar ground in her life and in her work. Hi, Sharon. Yes, ma'am. I just wanted to come by and give you this. I just made dinner if you want to stay. Would love to. Her new film, Ordinary Angels, is the true story of a woman who moves mountains to help a little girl who needs a liver transplant. Thank you for helping save this girl. To the point of begging the hospital to erase the mounting medical debt. You're asking us to reduce the family's medical bills due to hardship. No, I'm asking you to erase them, all of them. Was that funny? For Swank, whose own father was a transplant recipient, the story hits painfully close to home. My dad passed away October 1st, 2021, and he had a lung transplant. And just shortly after he passed, I mean, I started filming five months later. Um, and so it was like almost, I don't know, kismet in a way to be a part of it. Some bills are like wine. They get better with age. The movie is about a woman who tries to do the impossible and keeps trying until it happens. The same could be said of Hilary Swank herself. Raised in Bellingham, Washington, she grew up on the proverbial wrong side of town, and some kids at her school were told not to hang out with the kid from the trailer park. That would happen? Oh, yeah. Because you lived in a trailer park? Yeah. They, I don't know. They didn't want their kids playing with me. I don't know. I know. It's stupid. It's so silly. But it stayed with you? Well, it stayed with me um, because, obviously, I didn't understand it. But it's interesting because some of those um, people now being back in the hometown are like, oh, I always believed in you. Oh, that, really? Yeah. I'm like, no, you didn't. I can't keep my mouth shut to that. Do you say something? I say, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Yeah. And how do they? That they don't remember. Is Ben Seaver here? And it seems she never forgot how tough it was to make it. For years, she took any part, no matter how small. Hi, Luke. You might recognize another young actor here, Leonardo DiCaprio, who was on his way up too. It happened, but it was nine years of really hitting the pavement and really, I mean, auditioning five times a day and in the trunk of my car was all these different outfits that I would change and go in to, to be this different person in, in these auditions and, you know, so. And a lot of rejection too, I would imagine. A lot of rejection. You know, it's a really hard thing to be told all the time, you know, oh, about your looks and, and why you might not have gotten this or that. And you start to think, oh, do I need to change that about myself? And I think that was one of the reasons why I, I didn't realize consciously I was doing it, but I think I was looking for um, roles that weren't about appearance, that they were really about people. And that turned out to be the key. Who are you? In 1999, she landed a role that changed everything, Boys Don't Cry, playing a real-life trans teenager. You, you gotta see shrinks, you gotta shoot hormones up your button. I mean, it costs a fortune. I'm gonna be, you know, an old man by the time I get that kind of money. And the Oscar goes to... And then, this happened. Hilary Swank in Boys Don't Cry. Hilary Swank was suddenly a name in Hollywood, with the fame but not the fortune. So you've called Boys Don't Cry the little movie that could. Mm -hmm. You made it for a little bit of money. You got paid a very little bit of money. $3,000. $3,000. Yeah. And so you have an Oscar and no health, health insurance. insurance? Yeah. yeah. At that time, you had to make 5000 a year to have health insurance. And, and I, didn't, I didn't recognize that until I went in to try and get a prescription filled. And 
they were like, that'll be $260. And I was like, oh, I don't think I need that prescription that no. badly. <laughs> Weren't you ever tempted to just whip out the Oscar and be like, but I have this? <laughs> no. I don't, know. I don't think that would get me what I needed. <laughs> get in there. Seems she's had to fight for everything she's ever had. In the role of a boxer for Million Dollar Baby, Director and co-star Clint Eastwood had her bulk up her tiny frame with a brutal training routine and more food than she'd ever eaten before. Million Dollar Baby, mm -hmm. how many egg whites did you eat a day? Uh, six, zero. Six D? Yeah. How? I drank them. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. The movie also beefed up her reputation as a Hollywood heavyweight. Hillary Swank, Million Dollar Baby. After her second Oscar, she continued to work. But in 2014, she put her career on hold to care for her father, recovering from a lung transplant. You took care of your dad for three years? Yeah, it ended up being a little bit more, but I took three years off from my career. I know a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, how can you take that much time off of your career? Aren't you worried about, I'm like, worried about what? I'm only worried about my dad's health, you know, to think, that, I don't know, your career could go away or something is, was the least of my concerns. The l absolute last thing. But it was just so, it was such a great time and we became even closer, obviously, and he's one of my favorite people in the whole world and I just, um, I miss him every day and I would have only regretted not being there. Sadly, her dad didn't get to meet his grandchildren. Swank and husband Philip Schneider welcomed boy-girl twins last year. She was a few months shy of her 49th birthday. And they just turned 10 months old and I've been with them every single day. Every day? Yeah. We are going to save this girl, you hear me? We're gonna need a lot of shovels. In case you couldn't tell from the title, Ordinary Angels is about how average folks can sometimes do miraculous things. Just look at the career of its star, and it's tough to disagree. Do you believe in miracles? That's a good question. So much of that I think is rooted in the fact that I loved it so much, but I also said, I'm going to go and do this. And I didn't question it. I never said, and if it doesn't work out, I'll do this, this, or this. There was no backup plan. No. I just never said I wasn't gonna do it. You know, so can't was like a bad four letter word in my house. And so if that is a miraculous thing, then yes, I believe in miracles.